Okay, so overall this was a very, very eventful firing. Good. Busted. It actually like, I've, ne I've never, I've never had this happen before. Look at this. Well, those were gonna be some cool mugs. Like. What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. Today we have a completely full kiln. We're gonna unload it. We got test tiles, we got bowls, we got mugs, we got probably some other things. I wanna let you know that our Kickstarter is live and launched. If you wanna go get some mugs, some t-shirts, some, if you just wanna come help out with the new studio so that we can get out of this basement, which I do, I have, I am fond of this basement, but it's just time, it's time. We've just, we've outgrown this studio. So anyway, go check out the Kickstarter. Super appreciate it. Now let's get to unloading this kiln. <gasps> So I looked in this kiln. Oh. I looked in this kiln and a kiln shelf did collapse again. It's like, what? Like, what am I doing, John? I've loaded thousands of kilns. How can I load it so that one of the shelves collapses? Oh. But you know what? We're gonna make it. It's gonna be okay. So I looked in there and one of the bowls was like, Burr. so here, I'll just show you. So this bowl was up against the side. Here we go, there we go. So this is the kiln shelf. So this will now be, uh, probably I'll just bring it home because it's actually a beautiful bowl. Yeah, see that right there? That is not so good, not good at all. But the inside, the inside is nice. Super nice. Let's keep on, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Here's the, uh, the uh, Kenyan sky. Kenyan Sky Minnesota mug with the trees. Turned out beauteous. Here's another Canyon Skies, um, what's that called? Carved, carved. We'll call it carved. <laughs> we shall call it carved. There you go. Pretty nice. Nice, big, perfect ocean drip. Turned out really nice. Like it. There's a uh, sea green bowl. Pretty nice with those ridges in there. I like it. I like it. A few more mugs. Here's that Northern Lights. Northern Lights mug with carved in there. And I carved like kind of sideways up here. So it kind of whoop, the glaze just follows that. And then here's a Canyon Sky Minnesota mug. That's nice. Super nice. And here's a uh, another Minnesota mug with the little, there it is. The Northern Lights to Buttercream Glaze. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we have another couple. Look at this. So I, I really got into doing this little twisted, twisted uh, action. So I'm pretty pumped about this design. Look at that, isn't that sweet? It's kind of similar to those Kurt Hammerly mugs, but hand thrown and so that's in the Canyon Skies. I really, really like that. That is just, whew. The only thing I'm worried about with these mugs is that if you're drinking out of it, that the whatever's in there, like the liquid, is just gonna like follow one of the little crevasses in there and like just spill all over you. So I'll have to test those out before I really start using them, but pretty dope. Pretty dope! And then here's another mug. Here's the, with the red, beauteous. This is for my friend Brian. He likes the red, and he wanted me to try to spiral it the opposite way. So normally you spiral from the bottom going up, but I he thinks that if you spiral it going down, then it'll fit better on a right-hander. So I tried that, and yeah, that's it. So Brian, I will have given you that mug already by the time you see this video, most likely. Oh, jeez. A kiln shelf actually broke. It actually like, I've, ne I've never, I've never had this happen before. I have never had a kiln shelf like literally just break. I'm gonna show you right now. Let's do it. So look at this. So we're going over here. 
Oh, look at that. You see that right there? Busted, completely busted. So this fell off and fused right there. So that's cool, not cool at all, actually. This fused right here. So these three mugs are now done though. This, all four of these mugs are glazed together. Shoot, that is like ridiculous. Oh my gosh. And these two are fused together. What a joke. What a joke. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Busted. At least this one came out. That's cool. Oh, brother. Holy Anna. That. Never seen that happen. Never seen that happen. Pure Potter. Have you ever seen that before? Have you ever seen a kiln shelf break during a firing? Look at this. Well, those were gonna be some cool mugs. Like, check that one out. Check out that mug right here. Isn't that sweet? I was actually super excited for that one. Oh, bummer, bummer. Chicken bummer. Normally it's chicken winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is a chicken bummer. All right, well, still have a few more things. I'm a little, I'm a little distraught. I'm just gonna drink a coffee and collect myself for a second. All right, let's do it. Well, I'm happy there weren't like any, like, actually I'm not, I can't say that for sure. So far everything that's ruined was just like I made it for fun. Ooh, that's cool. Cool, cool. Like that. This has got that, um, a turquoise underglaze on top. Turned out pretty nice. Here's another one. Here's another one. I think that one of the most important things that you have to have if you're gonna be a potter is the ability to just like, when things don't work, you gotta move on and let go. Because if you are like really invested in each mug, like there's like 10 mugs in this kiln that are crappy and have to just be scrapped or you like sold a second or whatever. And if I was like really invested in all these mugs, I'd be really disappointed, which I'm kind of disappointed. Okay, so everything else in here looks good. Green carved mug, another twisted blue mug. Ooh, that's nifty. Nifty. They are, they're nifty gifties. There's a green twisted mug. And then here's uh, another sea green Minnesota mug. Here's that twisted Northern Lights mug. That's so cool. That's like sweet. Here's a Minnesota mug, Northern Lights Minnesota mug. All right, Canyon Skies. Here's Twisted Northern Lights. And here's a Minnesota mug, Northern Lights. So here's a Minnesota mug, matte, all matte white. Turned out really nice. Um, and then here's a few testers from that first one. So this that turned out pretty nice. So this is that one glaze that I did with graphite black, retro blue green, and twilight blue from Continental Clay. And then this is the same one, so I tried it, except for I sieved, because you can see there's like these imperfections here, so I ran this through a sieve. Still needs a little work. I think it could still be a little thicker. Whoa. And the rest of what's in here are new test combinations. So, let's figure out how. Oh, I see one that I really like. Here we go. Here we go. So I have no idea what any of these are yet. That's really bright blue, wow.
There we go, those are the tests. Let's see, I think just from the first look, my favorite one so far out of this one is probably this glaze right here. You might not be able to see it very well. I'll put a picture of it in. So 16, we're gonna go to our notebook. All right, so number 16 is denim, sandstone, and French mustard. Wow, that's like really nice. I like it a lot. Other ones that turned out pretty good were, what's this, what is this really bright blue? 20, 29, denim, fiesta blue, fiesta blue. So I dipped fiesta blue twice on accident for that super bright blue one. French mustard, high gloss white, sandstone. It's kind of cool. What's this one? Fiesta blue, high gloss white, and buttercream. So that turned out exactly like I thought it was gonna. And I, so those are similar glazes to the other ones. So that Fiesta blue. Cool, that's nifty. Nifty, nifty. What about this? It's cool. 23, sandstone, Fiesta blue, buttercream. Walnut brown, sandstone, denim. All right, well, nothing like, I can't say there's anything that is like blowing me out of the water. Like, holy smokers, that's the coolest glaze I've ever seen. Lots of like, oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Eh, eh. This one though, I really like that one. That one's cool. Okay, so overall this was a very, very eventful firing. Uh, probably the most up and down firing that I've had maybe ever. Kiln shelf broke. Like, these new twisted mugs that are super dope came out. This, this, oh this. So I've been, this This has um, my normal black with the turquoise overglaze or underglaze and then the graphite black over top of the other black which makes it like kind of a gray, steely, like matte black kind of thing which is pretty cool. So, yes, super eventful. I can't say I'm super happy that that happened. Check out the Kickstarter. If you wanna get any of my pottery, that's probably the only way you're gonna get pottery online for the next foreseeable future. So I would so appreciate it. My family would love you so we can get this studio project completed. Otherwise, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share, all the things. We'll see you in the next video. John the Potter fans. You guys want to introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Patrick with MT Knives, and this is my daughter. So you, remember, you remember that sweet knife that I got sent? This was the guy that sent it to me. He makes awesome knives. Thanks, man. <laughs>